ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Afternoon Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 5th of February, and we're going to sit here and try and make some sense out of this incoming system and sort through the data and talk about what's going to happen. So let's begin with some sky cam shots on a record-breaking kind of day. Temperatures... About as warm as they get this time of the year. We'll start with a look at our Hamilton Skycam and look at that. A little rain shower popping up there. we got a few isolated showers, but I still think the main action is a long way off. Uh, we'll keep an eye on radar, of course. Uh, there's our Birmingham Skycam. Uh, the sky partly sunny and pretty much the same story down in Demopolis. And by the way, we should mention that uh, they're showing 79 degrees down there, and I wouldn't be shocked if somebody across the uh, west central part of the state hit 80 today. Uh, there's a look at our water vapor satellite imagery, and you can see our uh, major trough coming out of the Rockies. The really good dynamic forcing is still well to the west of Alabama over Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, western Tennessee, Mississippi. And, of course, that will be shifting in here tonight and tomorrow morning. At the surface, the surface low is developing near Wichita Falls. And understand back in the cold air, we got quite a snow event going on from near Omaha to Des Moines and Chicago and Detroit. And in the warm sector down here, severe weather is the story. And look at the thermal boundary there. you got Little Rock at 74, Oklahoma City sitting in the 30s. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, we'll catch a little bit of that cooler air later in the week, but uh, we'll stay in the warm sector on through midday tomorrow. Got uh, one of the first watches of the day. That is in effect until 8 o'clock for much of western Arkansas, southern Missouri. And look at that. High risk of severe weather. Not that common. In fact, uh, quite rare. The high risk includes places like Greenville, Mississippi, Memphis, Little Rock, and Paducah. And in that high risk area, we'll have the potential for some particularly damaging long track tornadoes this afternoon and this evening. A moderate risk surrounding that all the way from near Tyler, Texas up to Cincinnati. And that includes Muscle Shoals, Jackson, Tupelo, and Nashville and a slight risk uh, along a line, uh, ending at a line from Gadsden down to about Atmore. And, of course, the reason for that, the, the storms beyond that, will be in here tomorrow. But certainly when you see a map like that, that bodes big-time severe weather potential. Tomorrow, a slight risk uh, across much of Alabama, uh, basically the eastern two-thirds of the state over to the Carolina coast. That includes Atlanta, Columbia, Raleigh-Durham, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, in Atlantic City. And uh, let's take a look at the QPF graphic. This is the one good thing, uh, the rain, one to two inches likely for the northern half of the state. We'll sure buy that and take that. This is the instability values this afternoon, the surface-based CAPE, convective available potential energy, and already we have CAPEs in excess of 1,500 on the western side of the state. How about that? Uh, CAPEs to uh, 2,000 back over Louisiana. And uh, the, the air is very unstable, but the better forcing is off to the west, and we're capped off, a little warm layer aloft, preventing the parcels from blowing up into storms this afternoon. So I still think for the rest of this afternoon will be mostly dry. Helicity values, these are the low-level helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer, and the things are really uh, maxed out over Missouri and southeastern Texas. But there is a degree of low-level veering here already. And, uh, again, you, you kind of get the idea that as the forcing approaches, the, the better chance of the tornadic storms in Alabama will be over the uh, western side along and west of U.S. 43 during the evening hours, maybe 6 p.m. to midnight, something like that. And then the whole thing will probably roll over into a squall line late tonight. One of our favorite composite indices is the Craven Brooks Significant Severe Weather Index, and uh, those numbers are starting to uh, – uh, peak out at about 30,000 off to the west. Of course, they're not that impressive here yet, but uh, they will be probably later this evening. There's the radar at mid-afternoon, about 151, and a few little showers out there scattered, but uh, that capping inversion is really keeping a lid on things, and it seems like as these things try and develop, they just fall apart. So I still think uh, for most folks, the rest of the afternoon will be dry, but the action will pick up after 6 o'clock. So uh, 6 o'clock this evening, all the way to noon tomorrow, a chance of severe weather, the better tornado potential, 
uh, the far western part of the state this evening. Then after midnight, a squall line, the main problem with that, damaging straight line winds. But you might see an isolated small tornado within the line. So we'd be burning the midnight oil. And then tomorrow at midday, the trough axis is still to the west. And the, the model shows the squall line moving over into Georgia at midday. So you can see this will linger into tomorrow morning clearly. So it's going to be an interesting drive into work tomorrow morning with a line of strong to severe storms blowing through here. Thursday, we get into cool, dry air. 50s during the day, 30s at night. Same thing on Friday. We might see 60 on Friday. Thickness values rise a little bit. Saturday, look at the trough digging down again. Response to energy coming down the backside at the surface. It's uh, turning colder. Uh, 1040 millibar high coming down the pike. Highs will drop back in the 50s. And then Sunday, thickness values drop even more. We might have a hard time getting out of the upper 40s on Sunday with a brisk north wind. And Monday of next week looks dry. A week from the day, Tuesday of next week, nice trough over southwestern Texas. There's the surface look. And then on Wednesday, the 13th, that mess moves in here. So after this rain event tonight, could be our next one out there uh, late Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And quickly, at the end of the forecast period, the 21st, nice-looking clipper coming through, showing a nice little batch of snow there through uh, Kentucky and Tennessee and maybe a few flurries bound here. But, hey, that's voodoo country out here. Uh, we got to take these things one at a time, and a lot of things will happen before we get to that date for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, uh, we'll have running updates on this event there. And, of course, if we do have any severe weather, We'll be here tonight on the stream, abc3340.com, and on television, abc3340 as well. And the next Weather Extreme video will be posted here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.